Hey, it's again Trevor in this tutorial and I would like to manipulate some of these and more shots to give them a moody kind of look of color and let's pick some shots yeah so I have this cheetah the rhinos and this giraffe and let's manipulate the cheetah first then we save our manipulations our, our colors as a preset and we try to apply to them all as as a preset and we see whether works on all types of shots so i'm pressing command shift a o filter then camera row so i want to show you a thing i shot this photo at an iso 400 and i shot at an aperture of 5.0 and a shutter speed of one out of 200 and that's the settings of my camera that i used and when you look at the photo it's kind of nice sharp with the textures of this fine let's try to add some sharpness using the high pass method i'm i'm pressing ctrl j command j to copy my subject and go to the blend mode and change it from normal to linear light and go to filter other and high pass so i'm putting this at zero and trying to add to where i see that my fur is now pronounced it's non shaky it's non fading and three works beta for me i'm pressing okay let me try to zoom in this is the before and after before and after and this is really nice let me press ctrl j to this background layer to make a copy and i'm selecting both layers ctrl e to image them and i'm renaming this upper layer as my color graded photo and let's color grade this go to filter and press camera row or use shift or use command shift a load up the camera row so let's try to do the best corrections to this photograph so i want it a bit warm because it was a sunny day so i'm pulling the temperature to positive five i'm bringing a bit of my highlights so that i retain all the exposed areas back so let's see this is the before and after the before and after i'm adding a bit of vibrance to positive 30 to easily see the colors to change the colors to reduce so i'm giving them kind of that pop and i'm closing this so let's go to the calibration part let me go to the to my reds and drag the slider to the orange side so i'm making my reds a bit yellowish and let me go to my blues and drag them to the cyan let me add a bit of circulation of my reds to give it a pop and a bit of saturation to to my blues i think this is fine this was the before and after before and after let's cross the color calibration and let's take the mixture color mixture and let's go to the saturation part so these are my yellows and i want to make them a bit orange 
So let me take my yellows to the orange side. Yeah, this is fine. Before and after. Let me take the slider for my greens to the yellows and let's see what we can do to the oranges. Let's take them to the red. Let's add a bit of red to the oranges. Mm, this is fine. So come to the circulation and turn these aquas down. Don't want them look that that's horrible and I'm taking them a bit down. I'm removing the saturation for the greens. Let's see what we can do to the blues. I'm reducing the blues a bit down. So this is fine. Let's go to the to the luminance and I'm popping out the reds. Um, and popping the oranges also up so I want my aquas to pop and I want my blues to to reduce the lightness a bit down go to the color grading and I want my I want my shadows have some till till fill in them and I'm bringing the luminance down this is very fine so let me see what we have added this was the before and after color grade before and after before and after some let's go to our curves and That was the before curves, after curves, before and after curves. I'm using this radio filter to add some feel to my photo. Let me first print this. the brightness for the site down and so that was the before and after before and after so let's set this as our preset settings we say save so let's save this these settings on the desktop and we call them anime anime so save
before, after, before, and after, before, and after. So let's try to check that preset onto this. So it's a lot presets. We go to the desktop and it's called anime open. So this is it before and after before and after thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment for the next tutorial